over to your left, you're going to see the corner house. That is Ted Benegui's house, used on Breaking Bad. Another day at the office for Frank Sandoval, owner of the Breaking Bad RV Tours in Albuquerque, New Mexico. How many people freaked out in that scene? For three hours, tourists get to ride on his 1986 Fleetwood Bounder RV, identical to the one featured in the TV series Breaking Bad. The Emmy-winning TV series about a struggling chemistry teacher turned meth drug lord was filmed in Albuquerque and became a hit both domestically and internationally. Breaking Bad really did put Albuquerque on the map in terms of the film industry. Here, in an open landscape where sunshine reigns supreme for 310 days a year and the longest traffic commute is 20 minutes, Netflix has put down roots. The entertainment giant purchased Albuquerque Studios, a 100,000 square foot compound, and signed a billion dollar deal to produce TV series and movies here over the next 10 years. NBC Universal followed with a $500 million deal. I'm terribly sorry about your sister. Thank you. She was a pretty good cop. Its highly touted TV show, Briar Patch, is one of a dozen TV series filmed in one of the studio's imposing stages in complete secrecy. Briar Patch producers Keith Raskin and Linda Morell say New Mexico offers a great filming alternative to congested and expensive Los Angeles. The varied landscape and local crew availability won't hurt either. Another major draw? Space. Space. Um, we've been working in L.A. for a long time, obviously I'm from there. Um, it is very, very difficult to find stage space in Los Angeles right now. Keith Ruskin says all these benefits have become the talk of the town among L.A. producers gearing up to take their businesses to Albuquerque. I think we're at the beginning of a tidal wave. There's been a, a big interest in shooting here. Hollywood's interest peaked after additional robust tax incentives were signed by New Mexico last July, says Amber Dodson, Albuquerque's film liaison. The rebate cap was previously at $50 million. Um, it, has, it is now raised to $110 million. The larger the amount a production company invests here, the larger the rebate. New Mexico wins as well, says Dodson. To get the incentive, production companies have to hire local talent. They are here for 10 years, no matter what. And the, the amount of jobs, and it's a conservative estimate, that just that deal alone will create is 1,000. 1,000 jobs a year, that is. We're busier than ever. Frank Sandoval couldn't agree more. His tour, operating twice a day, is fully booked by people who visit from all over the world. And then during Breaking Bad, what was the name of the car wash? So what I see coming Breaking down the pike is we're, we're going to become the next Hollywood. And as some people call it, Tamalywood. Penelope Pulu, VOA News, Albuquerque, New Mexico.